Hello everybody, I woke up uh, this morning and I had chat with Sid from Gary's team. He's his, uh, he is his global content manager, so he's in charge of uh, the content that is translated into different languages, and now they focus on China. And as you may know, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk is going to be in Hong Kong uh, next month for RICE, which is a huge conference, uh, huge Asian conference organized by Web Summit guys. And so... Uh, you know, I have been working on this for the past six months. You could have uh, you could have seen my my vlog uh, from Gary V's office in New York City. Now I'm gonna have a second meeting at VaynerMedia today, and we are gonna be talking about Gary's presence in China, in Asia, how we can help him, and also we are gonna be talking about getting Gary speak in Hong Kong at Startup Brand event because he's gonna be there at Rice. So uh, I'm meeting with his uh, brand manager and also with his assistant so that we can figure out how we can connect the dots, how we can help him and how we can get him speak and, and provide value to this guy. So let's see what's gonna happen. Five months ago, Gary and Ask Gary V was just like, someone had asked a question like, why are you on WeChat? Why are you not on WeChat? Are you taking- It was me. It was it? Yeah. I will link that up uh, in the description in the description below, so uh, so that you can check it out. And uh, so what happened? I had a chat. I had a really good chat for 20 minutes today or 30 minutes with Sid, and he told me that he got me a slot with Gary Vaynerchuk. Whoa! So what it means basically? It means that um, we are gonna do fireside chat. Uh, I'm gonna do interview with Gary for around 20, 30 minutes, just super fast Q&A uh, so that the audience that maybe don't know him or people that don't know him uh, so that they can get the context. And uh, then we are going to do some meet and greet. So I'm super excited, a little bit stressed <laughs> as well because I really want to focus on value. I really want to make sure that we can provide value, uh, the appropriate value to Gary so that he's satisfied and the team is satisfied because, you know, there is uh, hundreds and thousands of people that are reaching out to him every single day uh, they want to do something with them and so now I get uh, I got one hour I got one hour of his time which is like incredible to me I still I still cannot believe it in a in a way so uh, I'm a little bit stressed because you know I want to make sure that we can deliver really the best experience possible so uh, I'm still waiting for the final 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 confirmation I'm gonna work on the venue for our event and I'm gonna work on you know some plans so that I can share with Sid and uh, they can uh, they can really uh, fix the fix the schedule they can fix the time in Gary's calendar and uh, you know we're gonna be ready then we'll start promoting it so <laughs> Super, super excited about this because uh, it has been it has been my dream since I started watching Gary's content, which, you know, it's uh, it has been it has been more than a year. I really started being being kind of obsessed by this guy after watching his daily V's almost every single day uh, for breakfast. So uh, so, you know, it's it's really incredible to me. And, uh, you know, I will try to document the journey. I will try to document everything, the preparation of the event and the communication with the team and the communication with partners and sponsors. And we might do some book signings. So I want to document everything so that you can see the behind the scenes. And also I will document the whole thing on spot in Hong Kong when we actually do that interview. So, so that's, that's going to be, that's going to be amazing. <music> Moving on to the second thing. So today, a uh, really, really nice girl that spent some time in China before and she works for Germany. And so uh, she's uh, in Shenzhen right now and we are gonna do interview together. She will uh, interview me. She will ask me a couple of questions about Shenzhen, what's going on here in terms of startups, tech and events. So uh, she, will, uh, she will come to my office today, I think around 5 p.m. So uh, I will document that as well. I will try to record everything. I will try to record the interview and if it's gonna make sense, then I will share it with you. So today it's gonna be very long day. We started in a gym. where we crushed it and now we have the whole day ahead and it's gonna be full of amazing meetings and amazing stuff. So um, I will share everything with you, everything that I can. 
I will share with you. So guys, thank you. It depends what kind of product, right, you're looking at. So I have talked to people that can build their prototype in a week or so because they can go to Guachambe, they will buy it today, and if they can either do it themselves or they are going to find some shop, some small shop that is like a prototyping shop, then if the product is not super complex, then they can build it right away, right? So it really depends what kind of product you're looking at, but yeah, the speed is just incredible. And that's why everybody is here, or that's why everybody, when you talk to people that are running companies, or Kickstarter or Indiegogo, they're all going to end up in Xinjiang at some point, you know? Find the right partner. That's always the challenge. And uh, it's, not, it's not only for startups, but it's for everybody, right? Uh, I, I think you, you really cannot do it yourself. Like, like it's, it's almost impossible. You know, the, the thing, even if you speak Chinese or if you, if, you, if you have some sort of experience, it's still not enough, you know, because it's so competitive and it's so fast, it changes so fast that you need to have somebody who understands and who has the right connections. You know, I actually didn't, man, like the last time we were documenting this, I didn't publish it yet. I yeah. still have it on my computer. Oh. So people actually don't know you. <laughs> Not so, yet. So you need to introduce yourself again. I'm Dan Carlisle. I'm, uh, I'm from Florida, USA. Uh, I'm just out here in China again now. This is my second time. Hustler. Hustler. Just hustling. <laughs> you know, hustling. That's awesome. And, and now we are actually going to the event at Hux, which is the accelerator. Everybody knows it already. But uh, it's, uh, it's quite popular, it's Hardware Accelerator, and they have some event with, uh, oh my god, I don't even know the, exactly the name, but it's basically China, France, uh, Alumni Association for Students, for Chinese students that actually studied in France, mm -hmm. and they organized a startup competition for them. Very cool. So uh, Very cool. they have like an opening of the competition here at Hux, so let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I love startups. <laughs> yes, let's see, let's see. about myself. Uh, my name is Yan. I come from Czech Republic and I have been in Shenzhen, China for two and a half years right now. And uh, currently I run Startup Ride, which is the largest uh, entrepreneur community in the world. And uh, what I mean by the largest in the world is that we have people in 250 cities around the world and we have 1 million entrepreneurs in our network. Wow, crazy. So tell me, why why are you in China? Right now I am sourcing some new products. Show yeah. me one of your products. You have some products here, right? I don't think I have any on me. I, I might... You have the, the, the one on the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. So how, do you, are, how do you call that? Uh, these are the pop sockets. Um, so I designed something very similar to this. 